I'd like to give a shout out to my friend Oil the Gun. I'm gonna put a video link down for him below. This is the moon clip tool that he uses from Dylan Precision. Okay. Okay. This moon clip tool, it comes with the arbor on it. I'll get to that in a minute. You see the two holes? If you're loading 45 ACP, the screw goes in this hole. If you're loading 38 Special or Magnum, the screw goes in this hole to put this arbor closer to the, the um, uh, arm. Okay. Okay, also direct your attention down here. This is the 45 ACP hole. This is the Magnum and 38 special hole here. These are the two moon clips that came with the gun. These are the five from Wilson Combat. I got three packs of five for $15. The blue are a dollar a piece, $5 a pack. The stainless are $2 a piece, so that'll be $10 a pack. Now, I made a mistake like a dumbass I am. I put the round in here and I was pulling and yanking like a motherfucker. Here's how you do it properly. See this? Watch. See? You simply use this part of the frame here to anchor yourself down as you pull it off. Very, very gentle. And then the last one, you just yank the fucker. Yeah, the harder, it, the less you have, the harder it gets. There you go. And the last one, you just gotta yank it off. I'm gonna knock the fucking camera down. Hold on a minute. The last one is a cocksucker to get off. Got it. And this is what it looks like when it's done. Now to simply reload it, you take the moon clip tool, you put the moon clip itself on the arbor, it holds it up a little bit to allow the rim on, Take the cartridge, put it on like that, rotate it around here, and then clip. And it did go on properly. I'll do it six to five more times for you. Clip. This will work with the 625, the 625 JM, the Night Guard 325, which is no longer in production, unfortunately, if you still have one. Good for you. Um, and it will also work with the Thunder Ranch thing that Clint Smith did. And it will work with the Magnum revolvers that they have also, the eight shots. Okay. See, watch. Okay. Now, I highly suggest you buy a lot of these. I got two with the gun, plus I bought 15 others. Because you don't want to be doing this at the range a thousand times. When you're done with it, all of your brass will hug your black. Nice and easy. If you do not do it properly, there'll be a space... 
to me put it back on and redo it or if worse comes to worse yank that cartridge off and put it back on again to load the gun once again the gun is actually safe um pull okay now if one of these is off they will not go in the gun now notice the hammer is forward the trigger is forward and my hand is over here my finger is nowhere near the trigger you do not want to have any accidents when loading these I'm trying to do it on camera for you if I can toggle a little bit and voila load load to unload like I said before either hit the ejector rod the extractor rod and take them out or like I said before simply turn it upside down and be careful of your muzzle once again there is no one around me this is all concrete okay the MSRP on this is about forty dollars and like I said again these are one dollar a piece for blue two dollars a piece for stainless I have fifteen of them plus these which is seventeen this is actually the fastest way to load the bitch is you gotta make sure it's prepared in time you gotta have enough set up for home defense use or range use or if the shit is hitting the fan and there's a riot going on outside you wanna make sure it's loaded up properly and you always wanna check in the revolver before you go to the range to make, make sure it's all nice and neat check every single one of them pull them in and pull them out okay thanks to my friend at Oil the Gun once again and thanks to my friends at Wilson Combat they make a great product okay thank you